wanted to do this video uh, to show how I stiffened up uh, the head on my grizzly here. Um, when I was milling, I, you know, I was noticing I was getting a little bit of movement in the head and I really wanted to kind of stiffen it up for you know some good tight milling as tight as I can get on this machine anyhow. One of the problems with this particular one is there's a column in here and the head can go up and down and it can rotate. It's only held in place and I've got this loose at the moment but it's only held in place by uh, a little brass hunk pushing against the column in there. It holds, you know, relatively well, but you know, under the extreme pressures of milling, um, it's going to be able to slip this way or that way. Uh, I suspect because the uh, column, you know has some movement. It could also, you know, do this this way. Um, so I decided I really wanted to try to lock this down as best I can. I put in three bolts into the head here. And those three bolts I think are going to prevent the head from twisting in any way or any sort of movement a lot better than that single allen screw. Now one of the ramifications of this is when I'm milling I like my head all the way down to keep it as stiff as possible on that column but by putting, putting these bolts in I can no longer raise my column unless I take the bolts out and that's not a problem for me. So that was kind of my solution to stiffening up the head and making sure it's as tight as possible and doesn't move when I'm milling. If you're interested in see exactly the steps I took, continue watching this video. It's not a super big deal, but it does have its uh, moments. Otherwise, if you want to do this, you can just do it yourself with no problem. I think it really helps. Thanks for watching. This holes where that screw that went bad in one of my videos, so I don't want to re-tap into there. So I'm going to try to go a little bit lower, right in here. So it's going to rest against that, and we're going to put a three eighths in there, three and three quarters maybe, somewhere in between there. Driller is, is how high we want that line. Tapping to 3 8 inch, 3 8 16 NC, and the bit we're going to end up using is a 5 16 to tap that hole. I'm probably going to start with a Oh, what is this? 15 sixteenths to tap the hole with. I'm going to go three and a half inches. Prick our mark. Widen her out a little bit.
Okay, that looks to be pretty darn solid. Got that brass piece. Looks like that worked. Okay, I'm gonna drill this one just a little bit higher to keep away from that hole. Kind of a baked out finish there that kind of goes off center on me, so I guess that didn't help a whole lot. I'm just gonna try to straight tap it here. Okay, now I think I'm going to uh, pull the whole unit off and uh, tap from this side because I really can't get enough room back here and force to get it straight on. Plus, I want to make sure that after I'm done with all this that I uh, clean out all the chips and stuff from the inside, any grit and stuff that got in there. So. See how that one went in. Okay, I think it's done in there. I'm gonna pull it out and check the shaft because I have to take the shaft off again to remount her on the lathe. residue left over okay all that's left is trim the head and this baby should be solid as can be